British Ambassador to the Lao PDR, Philip Malone, on Tuesday hosted a reception on the occasion celebrating the official birthday of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II of the United Kingdom. According to the ambassador, the gathering is not only aims to strengthen cooperation between the two countries, but also to develop relationship with people after the reopening of the British Embassy in Vientiane in 2013. Our news team had the atmosphere there. Speaking at the gathering were attended by Minister to the Government Office Bun Hương Dong Pachan, Deputy Minister of Foreign Affairs Salim Sai Komasit, Diplomatic Corps, British expatriates and UK alumni. British Ambassador to Laos Philip Malone said this year is special as we mark the 60th anniversary of the establishment of diplomatic relations between Lao PDR and the UK. According to him, over the last year, Laos and the UK made great progress in a number of areas. The UK provides a program of support to Laos in advance of the chairmanship of ASEAN in 2015 as a sign of our commitment to strengthen our diplomatic links as well as cooperation in other areas of mutual interest, such as anti-money laundering, climate change, human rights governance, and of course our ongoing support for the UXO sector in Laos, where we announced a new trench of funding recently as well as support in other development sectors. Today we celebrate the, the official birthday of, of Her Majesty the Queen. Um, her, her real birthday is actually in April, uh, but traditionally we celebrate her official birthday, which is always in June. And back in the UK, in London, there is a, there's a special parade in central London called Trooping the Colour, which is the, the birthday day parade for Her Majesty the Queen. And all of our embassies around the world celebrate at the same time with a reception such as this one this evening. And it's a very important event for us because it's an opportunity to bring together all of our friends and contacts uh, within the country in which we're serving, in, in this case here in Lao PDR, and a good opportunity to have a, a nice enjoyable atmosphere with among friends and, and colleagues. The ambassador also thanks the Lao government to the diplomatic community, from NGOs to the business community, from the British community to the media for their support during his three-year mission in the country. He said this will be the last time he will host the Queen's birthday party in Vientiane as his mission as ambassador is about to end. It has been an incredible journey since his arrival in 2012. Well, this is actually the first time I've celebrated officially the Queen's birthday because I've traveled around so many times. And it's great to actually be with the Lao people here and especially people from my own country and just to be able to celebrate together and see every, everybody coming together in the same place. It's the first time I've done this. The Queen's birthday uh, is, a, is quite important to us. Obviously the Queen is a very uh, kind of an institution in the UK. She's uh, an amazing lady so to uh, kind of pay respect to her and our country is an important day. The Queen's birthday is an official celebration of British people in the United Kingdom and around the world and the main official celebration is organized annually in June at Buckingham Palace in central London where British people, the Queen and her royal family watch a military parade mostly called Trooping the Colour. Well it's very important to, uh, to people from Britain especially uh, but I think we feel it in particular because we're not back in Britain we're, we're not at home so it's actually something that draws us back to the UK it brings us together makes us celebrate and remember where we come from but uh, back in the UK you'd probably be looking at something similar you get together you would just the same way the Lao people do they like to get together and have a drink and uh, I think the Queen would uh, celebrate the same way herself <laughs> Well, I think, I think it's, it's actually very special because, as, as I mentioned in my speech, we, we only recently reopened the British Embassy here. Um, this is the third year that I've done a Queen's Birthday reception. Uh, and each year we found more and more people attending and uh, more and more people getting to know about the UK. And I think for me that's been the most important part of my assignment here in Laos, is to increase the, the profile and the understanding of, of Britain here in Laos and to develop the relationships. And I think this reception is just very much a, 
um, very much a part of that development of, of the relations between our two countries. The British ambassador also expressed his utmost appreciation and thanks to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, how Her Majesty plays the important role to serve the national and population. According to the ambassador, Laos and the UK established diplomatic relations on September 5, 1955. The original UK embassy to Laos was closed 27 years ago and moved to a base in Bangkok, Thailand. But in late 2012, the governments of Laos and the UK agreed to reopen embassies in each country's capital city. The opening of the embassy in Laos is part of the UK's plan to establish embassies in all 10 ASEAN member countries, aiming to intensify trade and diplomatic relations with the group and its member states.